How you doing, Gary Cloud? So it's the end of 2022. It feels like that has happened way too quickly. Today, I want to talk about some calisthenics goals, particularly goals that I've looked to achieve over 2022, but also goals that I'm also looking to achieve in 2023. Right now, I've just got some porridge simmering in the background. There's some protein shake in there, there's some creatine. It's got a whole load of stuff in it. I will then add some peanut butter and some coconut flakes. Um, and then we'll talk through some of the goals I'm going through and then hopefully take you through a training session later. And I say hopefully because right now, that is the UK weather. It's currently minus five, minus five degrees. I mean, there'll be people that are watching this from Norway and Sweden, just like, ha, ah, minus five. <laughs> Our summers are like that. But here in the UK, we, we just can't deal with those sort of temperatures. So catch you in a little bit. I'm just gonna go finish this up and catch you while I'm eating it. Okay, so when it comes to my goals for 2022, I had four of them. They were cleaning up my muscle up, learning to tuck planche, holding a 30 second handstand, and learning to front lever. And actually, I've only managed to achieve two of them. Now, the rationale for where I go next should really be hold the goals that I was looking to achieve within 2022 and migrate them over to 2023. But actually, that's not actually what I'm going to do. In terms of my front lever progress, I've managed to make a lot of progress on that front, which we will walk through later on today. I'll take you to the gym for a training session. But in terms of cleaning up the muscle up, a lot of that has actually been completely parked. I don't think I've done a muscle up in maybe about seven, eight odd months. And that's largely because when I'm working on weighted pull-ups and a lot of the front lever work that I'm looking to achieve, that front lever being the main skill that I'm really excited about getting under my belt. The weighted pull-ups and the strength from doing all those pull-ups, I'm hoping will translate into cleaner muscle-ups anyway. So by having fewer goals, I'm hoping to achieve higher quality on what those goals are. But let's talk about my goals for 2023. My 2023 goals are extremely simple and there's only going to be three of them. The front lever, which I'm carrying over from 2022. Handstand push-ups, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely terrified about even saying that on a screen. And when it comes to skills, that is one that I'm not too sure I'll actually be able to achieve, especially considering how long it took me to learn how to handstand. And the middle splits. This is something I've spoken about in the past. I've never put it down as a goal. And I think that's the problem. When I set it as a goal, I kind of had it as something on the back burner. But actually, this is me saying this as a commitment to the Cali to the Crowd community that I'm going to try and learn how to do the middle splits. Improving my flexibility is something that I've drastically neglected. And especially as I start to get to more of these advanced skills, I learn the absolute value of mobility. So I'm going to be upping the ante when it comes to middle splits. When it comes to how I'm going to look to achieve some of these goals, I think the main thing I have to really think about is my calisthenics capacity. The ability to pull and push my body through space in a way that allows me to achieve some of these skills. This is something I've spoken about quite a lot on the channel. And actually, this is what we're gonna be focusing on today when we train later, building up that capacity so I can actually pull more with my body. But before we get to that, there's one thing that I do wanna chat about when it comes to updates for the year that's gone by. I think when you get to the end of the year, it's something to reflect on. And actually there's been a lot of positives within this year, even though I've only met two of my four calisthenics goals. There's a goal that I didn't really think would be coming so quickly and it's the growth of the channel. This channel at the start of the year was just shy of 5,000 subscribers. The Cali to the Crowd community is now over 10,000 people strong. The messages that I get sent on a daily basis is actually incredibly humbling. The moves that you guys are making, I can make these videos, but you guys have to go out there, take the action, do the pull-ups, do the push-ups, do the L-sits. God, L-sits. So absolute credit to you guys in terms of the things that you guys have gone on to do. Like I said, I can make the tutorials, but you guys have to go out and do them. So the messages that you guys send me, first of all, thank you, because it really does motivate me to keep this channel going. And second of all, just keep pushing, because it motivates me to keep pushing as well. 
let's head to the gym. Starting off with a bit of a warm up, just opening up the hips, warming up the shoulders as the main areas when it comes to the front lever. Today's session is a pull workout. So I started off with some front lever raises. I've only recently started doing these with one leg extended and I'm finding them challenging. So I actually tuck both legs in on the concentric phase of the movement. The front lever is a static skill, but as we've spoken many times on this channel, dynamic movements are how we build strength through a wider range of motion. As I get tired and the form starts to slip, I actually shorten the lever and just go into tuck front lever raises, just as standard, just to get the reps in. Next, I loosen up the hamstrings before diving into some leg raises. I have to cheat with getting the toes to the bar. As you can see, there is still a bend at the legs and you know a lot of leaning at the back. But as I mentioned, mobility is a big part of what I want to get out of this coming year. And the best way to stay mobile really is to just move through wider ranges. After a few leg raises, cheat reps, I make sure to complete the set with some cleaner hanging knee raises just to make sure that I'm working the core, not just appeasing my ego. This was followed by pull-ups. You guys know how much I love pull-ups. Here I'm looking to pull to the chest, so nips to bar. But I'm also trying to drive the elbows back, so in that shoulder extension, you know, that range that we really want to develop in the front lever. Building up capacity can spill over into similar movement patterns, so that's what I'm looking for here. Into bodyweight rows next, and again, looking to drive the elbows back, but in horizontal rowing this time. You can really feel the mid-back being worked in this movement, and whenever I do them, I just get so astounded that so many seem to disregard bodyweight rows as just a pull-up progression, and they don't do them again once they learn how to do a pull-up. Anyway, salt box aside, I wanted to overload the lats, so I moved on to chin-ups. I don't usually recommend doing pull-ups and chin-ups together, as they're both quite demanding. I usually do either or, but as with all things, if it fits the goal, then go for it. And finally, I wrapped up the whole session with handstands, but they were feeling just terrible. Not great at all. I was wobbling all over the place because my arms were just way too knackered. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the training vlog today. But guys, I really want to know what your goals are. What are you guys looking to achieve in 2023? Let me know down in the comment section below. And guys, I really do hope you have a great end to the year. Crowd, I'll see you in the next one.